What's going on guys? So this is the first time you tune into one of my videos. My name is Eric of the Sane Lifestyle. I make videos like this every single week dedicated to guys like you trying to build their dream physique. Now, when it comes to building that good 3D delt or 3D shoulder look, what do almost all guys concentrate on? It's always going to be the front delt and the middle delt. Why? Because those are the most mirror muscles. And mirror muscles, I mean that you can see them in the bathroom mirror after you get out of a shower, you can look into the mirror and you can see them. Those are the muscles that guys always concentrate on. So things like the chest, front of the shoulder, the bicep, the quad, and the muscles in the back, as important as they are, tend to get overlooked. Like the drivers in your rear view mirror, they really don't matter until it's far too late to really even care about them. And here's the problem. If you only hit the front and middle head of your shoulder, you're leaving out one big important muscle group, and that is the rear delt. Now, why the rear delt is so important? It's because not only will it help prevent injury by helping your shoulder stay right, locked in that place where it's supposed to, nice and balanced, and give you that good upright posture, so that good shoulders back posture, is going to help you get really good posture so that you don't have any injuries, but it's also going to complete that 3D delt look. Like if you look at the shoulder from the side and your rear delts aren't as well developed, you're really going to notice it because the shoulders aren't going to look as full. And when you look at from behind, it's going to be lacking. And I'm pretty sure if you don't really work your rear delts, you probably don't work your back at all. So your back is also going to be lagging. So looking at you from behind, it's going to be meh. Looking at you from the front, it's going to be oh nice, but the back's going to be like meh. Just not going to be that impressive. Guys, I want to save you from that embarrassment and I want you to help and I want to help you get 3D delts. So what I'm going to be doing today is giving you my top four exercises for rear delt mass. So if that sounds good, drop me one of these. Make sure you do subscribe for more content coming soon and click the notification bell. Turn on to always so that you don't miss another upload because YouTube just does not like showing videos anymore. So screw you, YouTube. Well, guys, let's get into it. Starting off at number one is going to be the bodyweight TRX rear delt row. Why this, is this, why this movement is so good is because, well, for one, it's using your own body weight. So that is a form of weight on itself and be able to progressively overload. So if you want to decrease the weight, you just have to increase the incline. And if you want to increase the weight, you have to decrease the incline. This is going to be a great exercise because, well, one, it uses your body weight, but also it's going to be really a great workout for your rear delts. So you're going to be able to hit your rear delts really well in this movement, be able to hit them with a lot of weight and be able to put a lot of progressive overload onto them. Get those rear delts really working and especially if you haven't really worked your rear delts hard in a while or really paid attention to them at all which well, good thing you're watching this video but you're going to find out just how weak your rear delts are you should get to the point where you are pretty much almost parallel to the ground and you can pull yourself up just with your rear delts that's how strong your rear delts need to be able to be in order to be healthy and strong now the second one we're going to do is going to be a low row face pull now, this is a version of a movement I already do called the incline bench barbell face pull, where my main objective is pulling the barbell actually to my face. But with this one, since the cable is at a slightly different angle, slightly lower angle, what you're going to want to do is instead of pulling it to your chest or to your nipple level or to your sternum and really hitting the lats and the middle traps, what you want to do instead is you want to pull that bar to your neck and chin area. Because that way it's going to focus mostly primarily on the rear delts. And you're really going to be able to hit those rear delts hard. Now once again, if you have not been hitting your rear delts hard, you're just going to realize just how weak your rear delts are. So throwing this in is definitely going to help you overload the rear delts and gain strength in that area. So make sure you throw that exercise into your shoulder routine. And also if you do want to build up your shoulder, just a little quick tip. Make sure you put rear delts at the beginning before you do like anything like your overhead press. Because that's mostly going to focus on... Your front delt and your medial delt, do it before any of that because that way at the end, you're not out of steam and you can actually hit the rear delts really hard. So make sure you do add this workout or this exercise into your routine to really overload the rear delts. Now the next one is going to be a classic, but a little bit of a small twist on there. So when it comes to the cable face pull, everyone knows that, yeah, the face pull hits the rear delt. But here's the thing, a lot of guys tend to do this really wrong, when in fact, they just have to make this simple little adjustment and they're going to feel it so much better. What does that mean? You just have to turn your palms out to face away from you. And then instead of pulling the rope behind your head, you want to focus on trying to make a W with your arms. 
And when you're going to take a lot of the bicep and the middle trap out of it, and you're really going to feel a lot in your rear delt. So what you want to do instead of having your palms face in, is you want to face them out and then pull in like that. So this is going to be a little bit less weight that you can do, but in return, you're going to be feeling your rear delt just that much more and putting much more overload onto it, canceling out those other muscle groups. They're still active, just not as active anymore. The next one we're going to do is going to be a cable reverse fly. Now, the reason I like this one is because with a cable machine, if you keep the, if you keep the weight stack from touching, you're going to keep constant tension on that muscle. And I know a lot of guys are going to raise up the question of, oh, why are your palms facing down? Oh, why are your palms facing out? Oh, why are your palms facing in? Here's the thing. Hand position, whether your palms are facing down, facing out, or facing in, really doesn't matter. Your body doesn't know which position, well, I mean, it doesn't know which position the hands are in, but it really doesn't matter. I know I'm going to get a bunch of science geeks commenting in the comment section going, or sending DMs to me on my Instagram going that, oh, I'm preaching the wrong thing because, like, of these little minuscule numbers that show that the rear delt is slightly more active in there. You know what? Everyone feels that exercise a little bit differently, so whichever one feels best for you. Everyone's rear delts attach at slightly different angles and come in at slightly different angles too. So whichever way feels best for you, you can feel your rear delt the most. If it's with your palms facing in, good. If it's with your palms facing down, good. If it's with your palms facing out, good. It doesn't really matter which hand position you use because your body only knows that your rear delt is pulling your elbows back behind you in horizontal abduction. When you add this into the end of your workout, what you want to do is you really want to go into the really high rep range with this. More of like the pump, more endurance rep range. I'm talking like 15 to 20 reps because this is one where you're going to really want to, well, one, you're going to be sitting down and your chest is going to be against the pad. So you can only, so you're going, so you're going to be able to really focus on a rear delt, which means you're going to want to get a strong muscular connection with the rear delt and really feel them in this movement. You don't have to go too heavy in this movement. You just really want to be able to burn out the rear delts and really be able to feel them. And if you put in even one or two of these movements I taught you into your next shoulder routine, middle and front head workout, then you're definitely going to be feeling your rear delts the next morning. And your shoulder health is going to be thanking me. So those are the four exercises I have for you to incorporate into your rear delt workout. Now guys, like I said, you definitely want to put your rear del workout at the beginning of your shoulder workout. That way you can actually hit the back of the shoulder, which is really important with a lot of focus and energy. Guys, that is it for my video. So if you did like it, just drop me one of these once again. And if you are interested in a custom workout program, all you gotta do is hit me up in my DMs on my Instagram and I'll see if you qualify. And also, any topics you want me to cover in the future, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you do have any questions, let me know in my Facebook group, linked in the description down below too. Now guys, that's it for my video. So, well, for one, definitely make sure you do subscribe to my con. Well, for one, make sure you definitely do subscribe for more content coming soon and click the notification bell. Make sure you click always so you don't miss another upload. And guys, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, Saiyans, let's get it. Is to go even further beyond.